Hello there people, and today I'm going to be showing you the new 12W41A snapshot. It's just been released, so uh, let's go to the first feature, which is the new anvil block. So it looks like this. You can see it looks like an anvil. It needs to be a bit more angular, I think. But since it's Minecrafty and everything's blocky, it seems to work well. So basically, this will repair your items when you put two of the same item in. And also, if you've got enchantments on them, it will stack them, so you'll end up with both the enchantments from the two swords stacked on top of each other in one sword. So uh, once you've used it a few times, you'll end up. It will see it starts fracturing on the top with loads of cracks. And when you've used it a lot of times, you'll get even more cracks, and eventually it'll just completely break. So it's got limited uses. It's also quite expensive to remake. It's like 52 ingots or something. So bear that in mind when you're making these. You'll need a lot of iron. So yeah, I'm going to put some enchantments on these swords. So I've got a sharpness one and sharpness one. That would be perfect for showing how they stack. So if you put sharpness one here and sharpness one here, you'll see you've got sharpness two on this final sword, and it will cost me four levels to make this sword. So it's not free. And when you rename it, it goes up a lot of levels, like 15 levels it costs to rename it. So I'll just call this one Whipper, and you can see the name will be Whipper, and I've got the sharpness two on it. So it's a cool little feature. I'll also try it with these picks. So we've got unbreaking one and unbreaking one and efficiency two, and you see we've got unbreaking two and efficiency two. If you've got like unbreaking one and sharpness one or something on a sword, you'll get unbreaking sharpness both on this one. So it's kind of awesome. So this will cost me 11 levels, and here, here we are, my finished pickaxe. So it's kind of neat. It's I think it's like three uses before it starts getting cracked. But yeah, that's the first feature. On to the next one. So the next new feature of this snapshot is that when you press F3 plus H, it will now show the durability of your items. So if you've got a pick, it will show you how many uses you've got left and how many uses it has in total. So um, to this, for this, we'll have to make a wood pick like this, and let's get some uses on it. There, I've destroyed four blocks, so I should have four uses off it. And if you hover over here, it will say durability 55 over out of 59. So I've got 55 uses left until this will break. Um, remember, you can only access this by pressing F3 plus H. So now I've pressed it, you'll see it's disappeared. And when I press it again, it should reappear again like that. So it's a kind of useful feature. I think it's enabled by default, but I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. So the next one is if we if you press Shift plus F3, you'll get the pie chart in the corner again, so you can see the game stats and stuff like that. If you're really interested in that kind of thing, it used to be enabled by default and now it's only enabled by a toggle. So, yeah. Also, if you look at the top left in the stats area, you can see it's got a new area with F and then a colon, which shows you the direction you're saying, like facing like east, south, west, and north, like that. So, yeah, there's a few new features. On to the next ones. So, the last new feature in this snapshot is the change to the beacon block. So, uh, it's got a new little animation when you set it off. So let's just build a pyramid here, so we can set it off. Never realised how much stuff it actually takes to make one of these, it's crazy. But here we go, if we put some emeralds in here, and set it off, you'll see it's got a brand new animation kind of effect thingy. It used to just be like a massive permanent lightning strike, but it's now got a cool little effect, like a massive cuboid spinning around. Looks awesome, I love that, it's a really cool effect. It could be useful as an aesthetic in a map or something. Uh, yeah, earlier when I was doing the about the anvil, I forgot that to mention that they're also affected by gravity. So if you put one here, it will fall to the ground like that. Oh, um, also it changes orientation, so you can see I put it like that, and it will fall like that. They also stack. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, one bug with this though is that you can see this was cracked because this is actually a slightly damaged anvil. So when you place this and it falls, it becomes normal again, which is not ideal. But I did read somewhere that they're actually going to make this not affected by gravity because it's vulnerable to duping bugs and stuff like that. So I don't think in the final release they will actually be affected by gravity, but we'll never know. So thanks for watching, this has been the new snapshot. See you next time.